Hi, I'm John Weiler, creator of Survival Trial. And this is our fourth live update in the uh, 48 hour ST9 Winterborn Race of Champions. So right now we're roughly a little bit past 28 hours into the race. And uh, the sun's starting to go down, so we're enter entering our second period of darkness here very soon. Last night, the dark and the cold really took its toll on these competitors. They're down in the flatlands, and uh, granted it wasn't very windy, but it was cold. It got down to roughly right around 15 degrees. And uh, when you're out walking in that all night, you know, there's, there's no break from that. So they had competitors, uh, really takes a, the toll on their body. Water was freezing, uh, nobody's drinking water. Uh, they, they eat. I mean, it's, it's just not fun to stop. So uh, you just walk till the sun comes up, basically, or do whatever task um, in the meantime. So we're about to hit that again, but things are a little bit different now. A race of champions, we pit uh, these, three com these three teams, these three survival trial veterans who were invited here because of their performances in the past. So how tough and how smart they, they are in the arena against each other. And uh, the second night, uh, things are going to be a little bit different for them. So where they're at right now, uh, well they've, they've moved through the southern arena. And if you've been watching at home, you've, you've been kind of able to, to chart how quickly and uh, uh, the directions that they've been taking. They've started to spread out a little bit. Um, rally caps, they are currently in the lead. I've been out looking at other teams and uh, uh, visiting and trying to catch up with 4040 down south. So I don't know how many miles rally caps have put in, but they haven't skipped anything. If they hit every point out here and then cross the finish line within the time frame, the 48 hour time frame, they get a 2000 point bonus. And in the past, we've had it in the past, that usually uh, is what uh, clinches the uh, first survivor. So uh, that's what they started out with and uh, what they've been focused on this entire time. So they haven't deviated, starting to slow down a little bit, but I'll tell you what, these scenarios that we have down south and then in the middle, and now we're kind of entering the, the uh, bottom of the northern arena, but you know, very difficult. Uh, they're, they're set up for a race of champions. They're set up with very high expectations of uh, mental toughness, physical toughness, um, work under pressure, and be able to uh, continue on with your, your plan. You know, there's so far rally caps have been the only ones to do that. And that's not taken away from the other two teams. This is a very difficult trial. But again, it's designed that way. Uh, second right now is uh, Terra Victor. And Terra Victor is actually coming up uh, behind us. I'm currently at uh, physical obstacle number four. And this is uh, Gimme Shelter. And that's where they have to build a winter shelter. So one that's <coughs> structurally sound enough to, sus to sustain uh, high winds and a blizzard. Be waterproof, so when the, if the snow melts, it's not gonna uh, get your team and your equipment wet. Uh, large enough for the two team members with equipment and they utilize their candles, if they didn't use them before, like rally caps, for example, uh, to heat it. Okay, so uh, that means that that's not a huge shelter. So that's that's what this is here before they walk into the back country. So Terra Victor's up this way. They also picked up the golden basket. So I uh, just talked with uh, Gene Locke and they're, they've been working on trying to uh, figure out a way to carry that. And in the past we've seen all different ways from strapping it onto your pack, carrying it like a bucket with the other team, team member, or dragging it behind you, just tying it off and just walking and dragging it. So they're working on that right now, uh, but they're on their way. Uh, so now they picked up the golden basket that was put out in the arena. Uh, they, Terra Victor, they had uh, kind of deviated from their original plan, so they made their adjustments and they went right for the golden basket as they came across and uh, picked that up and they earned that and climb up and get that. I have some photos and videos that I'll be putting up here in a minute. But uh, um, they are now going to earn in the next uh, 20 hours a uh, uh, two fast pack light speed packs from Triple Lot Design and a free slot for a 48 hour team in the Sundowner this year so they can compete potentially in the Rock next year. So <clears throat> again, they're gonna earn is about 40, just under 40 pounds. So he thinks this pack weighs about 80 pounds. I say they might be a little bit heavier. So 20 hours with that now going into the back country. 
the team 4040 uh, if you look on the map I've been down there trying to uh, find them to get them some water they're still fine as far as it goes but every four hours or so I like to make contact with them and, and make sure the water's topped off and whatnot and always been drinking water like uh, like they should be and again that's that's the weather cold weather and then I mean this is moderate but it's still uh, pretty mild to, to move in so we just forget when this this environment is just constantly sucking the moisture out of us so uh, that can be a dangerous situation uh, a debilitating at the, at the very minimum so uh, we try to keep them topped off so um, there just should be just now crossing Highway 64 and hitting that mental challenge. Uh, well, I guess you get on your map. It's a mental challenge, and that's where they have to. Uh, There's a writing prompt for 100 words to tell us what you're thinking right now. And I did that. I put that about two thirds into the, the arena, so we get some interesting answers. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. So I'm going to catch up with them here uh, after we uh, meet with Tara Victor and uh, see how they're doing and give an update on that also. So that's it. What we're doing now is I'm here to watch Terra Victor with their shelter because I really like that. Uh, it's very neat. And they have the opportunity now. They went down and got their first task prize. That's the reason that we, um, we, we are very fortunate to have um, the Farson Hatchet as our um, first task prize because now we've incorporated it into the trial. They're going to need that unless they carry the hatchet. And most people don't carry additional items with them just for weight. So that's going to make their lives a lot easier to uh, construct this, uh, this shelter. Um, but they're also going into the backcountry. We are unable to get into the backcountry. And if you notice, there's no scenarios where they normally are up in the mountains. And that's because of the roads and snow. So one of the conditions to hit that finish line is that once you step foot into the backcountry, you're committed. That means you're, you're there to go all the way. That if you quit, you're going to have to walk either forward or back out again whichever's closest. We're going to assume that if the competitor pushes that um, I, I quit button that they're injured and that if that's that's what they're briefed at the beginning that's what they're going to be briefed now as they enter each each individual team as they enter the uh, backcountry. So if that's the case then we're we're moving up there we got a four-wheel uh, four-wheel drive bobcat we got chains all ready to go um, if they are if we get that call then we're moving up there we're not driving our vehicles up there to, to pull out a team that quits, especially in the race of, cha race of champions. I don't think that's going to happen. You know, I don't, I have, I've never thought one time during this race that that would happen. I don't expect it right here. But they're still going to get briefed because this is not going to be easy. It's muddy, it's slick, there's snow. They're, they're going to encounter all kinds of different terrain moving up while carrying weight, different portions of weight. And they're, they're smoked already. They're moving a lot of weight in the shooting scenarios with the Jakes. So um, it'll, be, it'll be a long night for them. It's going to get cold. I'm getting some cloud cover too, and that'll darken it up a little bit, make navigating a little more challenging. So, um, but that's the race of champions. Right now, Terra Vectors is the first to enter, but they're not in first place. But things can change. We're talking points here. The overall points, the most points win. It's a team aggregate. So right now we have rally caps that are collecting points down here, with the intent of crossing the finish line. They might not cross the finish line. May not make it there, and Terry Victor may be the first survivors. Something may happen there. Forty forty comes up from the rear, and they cross that finish line, and now they're the first survivors. Anything can happen. It's still anybody's race. Even though we got a little bit of a spread, that makes no difference when it comes into something this this unknown that we're that these teams will be walking into. So, very exciting. So I'll be back up here probably around 11, 12, right around midnight tonight, and give an update of. Uh, what is going on and how the teams down here have progressed and, and moving up into the backcountry and uh and how things are going up there so uh stay tuned for that all right i'm uh john weiler i'm the creator of survival trial and this is our fourth live update during the uh, st9 winterborne race of champions i'll see you back here in a few hours